Busoga region is one of the biggest sugarcane grow on both commercial scale but still registering persistent poverty levels to boost the growing of high value crops and reduce reliance on sugarcane growing. The National Agricultural Advisory Services NADS started supporting farmers in Busoga region to embrace the initiative. We are now telling our people in Busoga that they need to now to, uh, to, to embrace high value crops because sugarcane is only appropriate on large scale. For farmers who can do up to 500 or more acres, but for our smallholders of one acre, two acres, we encourage encouraging them not to go into maize, not to go into sugarcane. The initiative aims at addressing the issue of land degradation that has been caused by the growing of sugarcane for a long time. In this approach, NADS is working with large-scale farmers and organized farmer institutions where NADS contributes 70% of the seedling cost and the farmer contributes 30% of the total seedling cost. We are talking about commercial farming. This is not cassava that you're going to grow for putting food on the table. No, this is something that you are growing for commercial purposes. So the reason we are here now is in, in Usoga is to drum up the support to popularize Hass Avocado because the advantage we have here is that we have one of the biggest nucleus farms of Hass Avocado. Musubi Farm, located in Mayuge District, is one of the largest commercial growers of Hass Avocado in Busoga region with a complete production chain. We are doing what you call value has avocado value chain, as in we are doing avocado all the way from the seedling, its propagation, its planting, uh, its packaging, its processing, and we export. With a complete production chain, despite existing potential for production, the commercial supply of high-value crops like has avocado and macadamia is still minimal. With the capacity to crush at least 20 tons of avocado in a day, the farm is operating under capacity with several indigenous avocado varieties and imported tons of has avocado. We run only half of the half shift to produce from has, then we run like two shift to get from the same oil from the local varieties. Busoga region has a cooperative union which encompasses four cooperative societies to bring together all farmers in the 11 districts which NADS is supporting. Of those who have trees which are mature, three years, ready to fruit, ready to export, then we have a category which is two years. Then we have another category of those with trees that are one and a half years and then a category of trees which are less than one year. We have a baseline. We pretty much know who falls under which category. During the stakeholders engagement held at Musubi Farm in Mayuge district, farmers underscore the challenges that they face. Uh, our factory has the capacity to crush 50 tons per day and uh, four tons per hour. So uh, that house is not there. We have resorted to crushing local avocados. In the same meeting, resolutions were arrived at on how to support farmers in the region to grow house avocado other than rely on sugarcane. Because house avocado is also a mitigant against the effects of this climate change. The NADS initiative to support growing of high value crops was introduced three years ago and has so far impacted on lives. Susan Naonga reporting for ABC TV.